Hi, and welcome to Be Like One uh, TV. Oh, well, this is a journey, a journey that uh, myself and my family have gone through with Dad. Um, we wanted to um, have a response. I certainly want to have a response. Uh, a, a brilliant book, which I highly recommend, um, written by Patrick Holford, got, um, Say No to Cancer is an absolutely mind-blowing book. It's brilliant, 10 out of 10. Uh, I would recommend it to anyone who's got cancer, anyone who knows who's got cancer, you give that as a gift. Um, that, I would say, is a, a gift of hope uh, and one that will hopefully will also bring a gift of life. Uh, it's a life-changing book. It will make you look at the world in a very different way. Um, alongside um, an amazing documentary, the docu uh, documentary is The Fork Seven Eye, which I've I've mentioned uh, before, and also um, the other one is the China study by Dr. Eckstein, no, Dr. Eckstein, uh, Dr. Colin T. Campbell. So, what is Be Like One? Be Like One is a response about cancer and about how we can find alternatives and scientifically look at the alternatives and present them to the world for free. Um, I don't want um, big price tags of everything. Everything has become so consumerized that um, life and death is a consumerable act. That yet yeah, life used to be about um, about passion, about you know, about having worth, about having meaning, and we seem to have lost that. And everything has to have a commercial uh, element to it for it to be validity uh, or some validation to it. So, um, and. I'm walking here in the park because I wanted to put our inaugural post um, about about life. With, with, it's all around us. And the thing that really um, is going to bring um, cures to us is um, the greens. Uh, because the greens are really our friends, our real friends. It's not the corporations, it's not the pharmaceutical industry, it's not... Um, your processed uh, meat, your burgers, your fries. It's not your uh, the uh, diabetic pill that you take every morning or, or whatever insulin that you take. Uh, it's not, that's not our friend. Our friend is the planet Earth around us. I mean, look at it. It's absolutely huge. It's beautiful. And yet we've, we've ignored it and we've disregarded that planet. And in the same way, we've disregarded our own lives, our own bodies. And, and what we need to do is return back to that natural order. And that natural order is, is not too difficult. It's not hard. It's, it's very simple. It's very simple. And Be Like One is about looking about, you know, it's our journey. And I, and I really want people to, I mean, so many people have asked me to do this. And, I, and, I'm, and, and I, I'm not, those who know me, I, I don't really like to, do this kind of stuff. I rather, I'm rather behind the scenes kind of person, which is really more f my forte. Um, but um, but because of the, a lot of the stuff that we've been doing over the last nine months now, since January, since Dad's been diagnosed with pan pancreatic cancer, um, that you know people have said you've got to do this. So really, it's more to do with that and about reaching out and telling people that you're not alone and that there is a lot of hope. There's a lot of alternatives out there, and the alternatives. Do not necessarily have to be very expensive, um, and they're not far-fetched, and they're all based in really good science. And at the end of the day, uh, there's a lot of uh, strong science there as well. So, um, what will I want to be doing in the next uh, few weeks, few months, maybe a few years? I don't know. I don't know where this project's going to go, but be like what is really about um, us reaching out. Um, and, and, and what I want to do eventually, um, we'll be discussing already uh, with some very good friends of mine um, about um, having a regular journal, uh, a seasonal journal, journal uh, called Rawsome, um, where uh, in the summer, the spring, the autumn and the winter, foods change, our body requirements change. I mean, how amazing is this, that as the seasons change, our body needs change and the only foods that are available are those that our body actually needs. Because of globalization, we have more foods that are 
uh, out of sync of our bodies and our and, and what we what we need. So we might like, for instance, what can I say? Asparagus, for instance, many great properties, but only you get in the the springtime. Uh, it, it's a seasonal vegetable. Um, you you juice that. It's great for cancer patients. It's great for the immune system. Yeah, it's it's got some great photonutrients. Um, so there's a lot of good things in that. But you can only eat that during the springtime because at that time the the body is rejuvenating as well. The body has its own rejuvenation process, and what we don't realize is that we have to treat our body with a bit of respect. And um, and cancer is a is really a response, I think, of that neglect. Cardiovascular disease is a massive response to that neglect of eating fatty food, fatty foods with lots of oil and grease and, and you know, processed foods and, you know, the sugars and salts and what we, how we abuse our bodies. So, so really to readdress that and, and, and hopefully bring that to the masses to, to, to tell people it's not that difficult. Um, I want to also run workshops uh, where we give free advice, um, uh, you know, throughout the year. Um, uh, in London, we're going to start that, uh, hopefully, God willing, soon. Um, and I'm getting in touch with lots of naturopaths, you know, qualified naturopaths, to render their services absolutely free to the masses, where we can hold um, seminars about educating how to live your life uh, through a holistic, holistic, holistic means, uh, through naturopathic diet, through plant-based diet. Um, that it, it's not doom and gloom. Uh, and even if you want to retain meat, fine, have it, you know, you know, it, there's a proportionality of what that balance is and readdressing that balance in your own life. And, and So hopefully uh, with the, the regular sessions and we want to take it around the country. Um, I, I definitely don't want to keep this a London thing. This is a humanity thing. It's not about, you know, ethnicity or religion or anything like that. It's about life. It's about sharing life and, and giving people hope. And I hope we can do that. And cancer can be beaten. Uh, cancer has been beaten. And, and I, I've now met many people who have done that. And I'm, and I'm convinced. I think we just need to educate people. And we need to present those alternatives. And once we present those alternatives, let people decide. If, if they want to go chemo, fine. If they want to go under the knife, fine. Uh, but if they want to uh, go on a plant-based diet, and they want to change their lifestyle. It's not a diet. It's changing their lifestyle for a healthy one that their children and their children's children and the generations to come will benefit from. Then I say that's fine too. But if they don't get that option, I think that's a travesty. And I think that that's something that we have to do. And I think my generation and uh, the people watching this, I think we all have a, a responsibility. And I think we need to share this information with everyone. And um, I hope you can join us, uh, join me, uh, my family, my friends, and, and, and many of the people who are supporting us all around the, the globe. I mean, amazing people that I've already got to know uh, in the States and in, in, in China, in Australia, in Dubai, uh, Abu Dhabi, uh, for instance, um, in Europe. It's just, it's mad. Um, you know, I never thought I'd be doing anything like this, but you know, it's 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 bizarre. But you know, sometimes through trials and tribulations, sometimes we're you know we rise. If we rise to the occasion, then hopefully everyone benefits, and uh, I hope that we can do that. And and you know, to the amazing teachers and friends that we have, that we can actually put all the good things together and uh, and present that in a way. BeLikeOne.com is the website. Um, uh, hopefully we'll present not only the vlogs, you know, the video monologues about dad's progression, how dad's doing, but about cancer, what cancer is, and how we can treat ourselves um, and help those around us. Uh, it doesn't have to be a death sentence. Cancer is not a death sentence. Don't take it as a death sentence. Cardiovascular uh, vascular disease are not a death sentence. Um, diabetes is not uh, a death sentence none of these these are all curable things we can change it we can reverse it it's going to take a bit of struggle it's going to take a bit of time but if we if we, if we work at it and, and we just you know just educate ourselves uh, about plant-based diets about the greens about the superfoods uh, out there uh, we can do it we can do it and we will do it we will do it without a shadow of a doubt we will do it 
and we'll, you know, God willing, we'll do it all together. Anyway, I'd like to thank you for watching this, uh, um, uh, the opening uh, of the Be Like One uh, uh, website, uh, as well as um, our journey. And I hope this, this journey is going to be fruitful for everyone, uh, as well as it's going to be for us, and that eventually through this journey we'll also uh, help cure my father of pancreatic cancer, and we reverse the effect, uh, and that we can actually share this. Uh, I thank you, and God bless you, and uh, hope to uh, put some more stuff uh, in the coming future. Thank you. Bye for now.